special episode of Maxwell Stars Beer Review, our 350th episode. Gonna take a look at a beer that was sent to us by none other than the great Albino Rhino of Niagara Falls, Ontario. Gonna take a look at something really special, really rare, Black Oaks, 10 bitter years. Uh, I gotta point out though, it says XI, because I think their 10th anniversary was, this This beer was brewed for their 10th anniversary, and I think the 10th anniversary was actually last year. I believe it was. So, uh, this was actually XI, meaning 11, so it's 11 bitter years. It says right on the back, 10th anniversary beer, 10 still bitter. So we're getting this one pretty quick. I've only, I've had this in the fridge for about two weeks since Rhino sent it to me. Um, you know, the timing couldn't be avoided, but um, the big thing about the rarity of this one is the hops that he used uh, are incredibly rare and incredibly expensive and do not have a long shelf life. Like most hops are used for uh, preserving the beer. In this case, the flavorfulness of the beer really subsides. I think it was like Chad, or Albino Wino has said it was like uh, two months or something is the life expectancy before the flavors start to fade. Well, let's get to it then. We better get to it. Every second counts. Ten bitter years. I can't believe we're actually getting to try this one because um, uh, from what I've heard, it's friggin' awesome. Of all the things that Rhino sent us, this isn't the craziest, though. Yeah, I know. That's coming soon. Don't believe me. Um, I believe this is a double IPA style beer. Is it? But it's made with a uh, really, really, really strong, a really, really rare type of hop, which is kind of unique. Now, I don't exactly also. know what hop that is. Um, Rhino, if you're watching, let me know. <laughs> Reverse uh, osmosis water. That's interesting. Ooh, Reverse osmosis. So like, be extra... osmosis backwards? Yes. Osmosis, like, um, you know, Ozzy Osbourne? Osmosis. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Okay, so it didn't get really a whole lot of head off of that one. No, well, but it's I didn't... strong beer, so it's... Yeah, 8% it. EBV, so it's not going to kick up a lot of head, although I have seen a lot more head from stronger beers. That's true. Like, we want to see you know, how much head we got off of that in there, too. That's true. Although, look at that. I'm getting a lot of creamy head by kicking it up. It's a very thick head. Mm -hmm. Very thick. It's a very dense head, too. Um, how do we smell? Lots of stickiness. How do we smell? How do we smell? Uh, yeah, I have to let you know. Looking at the appearance, it's slightly hazy, and it's also uh, a little bit of amber appearance. made orangey amber. A little bit of yellow around the edges. Mine's brown. It's because you're in the bottle. All right. Give us that. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh. That's nice, though. Got a really nice quality, like caramelly kind of grapefruit pop off of that one. Slightly yeah. floral. Smells darn fresh. It does smell fresh. Boy, it, it smells, smells some fruity, though. Nice fresh smell to that. Oh, it smells it's so inviting and so fresh smelling. I'm beginning to believe wow. you that this might be a double IPA. Mm. I thought it was like some sort of extra strong bitter, hence the name, but... And bitter year. Well, you know what, IPAs are bitter, too. But I'm just guessing because it's 8% EBP and uh, got a lot of hops, but it could also be considered a Imperial ESV. I didn't look it up before I did this. Perhaps I should have. Brian me correct me. Uh, I'll check it before I upload the review anyway, but for the time being, we'll just say it's a double IPA. There's a crawl on the bottom here that explains what's really going it on. It smells like a double IPA. It does kind of smell like a double IPA. It smells, it smells like a really nice, fresh double IPA. Yep. Yeah. Citrus, a little a little pine, a little biscuit. Mm -hmm. It's good, good stuff. Good fish Nice fresh smells though. I want to taste it. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, nice. That's nice and smooth. Oh, that's big earthy note to it. Wow, that really kicks in there at the end, doesn't it? Where it sort of. So I was like, yeah, this is all right. And then all it's of a sudden, it's like bam. smooth, smooth, smooth. <laughs> right at the very back, as soon as it dries out, then the uh, the hops are exposed to the air. Then you get this thing. Really intense, earthy, piney bitterness in the back of the mouth. Yeah, that's pretty awful. It's not that bad. Oh, wow. Woo. That is intense. Mm. Hey, Fuzzy, you want to try a sip of this a little between your Bud Light Lime? Oh, jeez. You want to give it a try, dude? Just give it a, give it a sip. I am not a beer tuber. Just give it one uh, sip. Have you had an IPA before? Probably you must not. have. Other than Keith? Oh, oh. Ah, yeah. 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 Well, Poison! Beer longer than me, and he's Poison! Like, oh. Well, that proves it. If the uh, for, for certain people, IPA drinkers may love this. That that proves it. We've got our, our light macro lime beer drinker here. Who, uh, rum drinker. Rum, rum drinker, drinker. Who has declared it to be poison? Therefore, it must be good stuff. You want to sit down with this one? Let's give it a shot. All right, we're sitting down with this one. Be right back. And we're back. 
with Black Oaks Pen Bitter Years, sent to us by the uh, Albino Rhino. So, what do we think of it, this beer? Well, it is bitter. It is definitely bitter. Might, um, might take me 10 years to get this taste out of my mouth. It's not such a bad you know thing. What? It's not a really bad taste, though. It definitely not. comes across as having, well, it's got those great fruity and citrusy qualities. It's still got a very traditional quality, too, with the earthiness. The, the earthiness does linger longer than the other hot yeah. flavors. Like, it, it's almost like, what, what Rhino was saying to me is this, this hop was so rare and so hard to work with, is that I think he said that like 30% of the, of the, uh, the hops were lost due to sludge. Yeah. yeah, like they're really, really hard to work with apparently. But I can see why he chose this one, because it really really works out to be a really interesting, awesome beer. Yeah, it's a very complex flavor in this one. Mm. And this is actually one, like before we actually got this, this is one... Oh, it was a twisty. Did you know it was a twisty? No. Oh. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> this is one that was actually rare enough that you were saying uh, that you would actually sell your own grandmother to get one. I didn't say sell, I said trade. Trade. It's a barter system. Well, whatever. I, I, you didn't have to sell, thank you, and uh, you know, Chad's not asking that for other it's okay, he would want to ask us to send us a beer mail back with some pretty interesting beer. And I got some stuff still away from Sweet. This last beer mail from him was pretty damn interesting, and I really thank him. And I don't think we could ever... perfect beer for a episode 350. Uh, I don't think we're ever going to pay him back in yeah, this. this is really odd. This one here, maybe we might be able to find something awesome like this again. It's the other one he sent us, and you'll, we'll have, you'll have to wait. Um, we're never, that we're, we're never, never going to be able to repair that one because that one's just fucking incredible. Anyway, so what anyway, so um, this one here, great double IPA or Imperial Bitter, whichever it is, uh, either one it really matches the style. It's a good beer really, either way. Definitely a good beer. Uh, very citrusy and traditional. I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5. What do you think? I'm saying, I, I'd say it's probably fair. Fair? So yeah. both 4.5 out of 5 from the both of us. Definitely a top uh, 5 Ontario beer. Yeah, definitely Maybe one, top of the, three. one of the best beers to come out of Ontario for, for sure by quite, quite a margin. Um, great. Uh, can't thank you enough, Rhino, for sending us this particular beer. This is awesome. And I can't thank you guys enough for watching all my episodes so far, for watching episode 350. And don't worry, guys, there's more coming. Uh, we're not retiring anytime soon. So thanks for watching, and we will chat with you guys later. Cheers. 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 Scott over here is drinking. Bud Light Live, baby! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers, guys. <laughs>